hello and welcome everyone to another video now today I'm not going to test a full new autopilot version uh, or a software version but I found a bug in the system that is quite odd because it's only showing since this uh, last update and it concerns the fact that Tesla seems to be using double speed limits on certain roads so let's find out what that means So right now I am driving on regular cruise control and if I hit the stock, well, what's this guy doing? Well, Tesla is reacting quite well to that situation. Now, as I was saying, if I just hold the stock back or pull the stock back, it takes the actual uh, speed limit. So if I do that, well, nothing really happens now. So if I slow down a little bit, Right, I pull it again, 70 kilometers an hour, it displays 70 kilometers an hour. But now I'm currently on autopilot and um, at 50, uh, 70 kilometers an hour, if I enable that, it jumps to 70 kilometers an hour, just the way you would expect it. Now let's try another road or another section and see what the difference is there. Now, first of all, watch what happens when I reach that 50 km an hour sign. You will see that actually it uh, changes to 50 km an hour. However, the car says uh, I can still do 70 km an hour. So it doesn't adjust the speed limit until about 200 meters up ahead. Now, if I hold it down here, you see it goes to 60 and then if I let go it goes down to 50 um, so same here uh, goes to 60 and uh, now it goes to 80 where the speed limit is 70 and then it changes to 70 again so there are different speed limits um, that are being applied uh, by Tesla maybe it's different databases that they use I don't know but one more thing I want to test is whether if I hold that uh, speed limit or if I hold the stall back and it says 80 km an hour will it accelerate to 80 km an hour yes or no so here we have a section where it happens again so if I hold the stall back it thinks I can go 80 and it actually will go 80 auto steer re speed restricted so what if I accelerate faster nope so it applies different speed restrictions even though we were allowed to drive 60 and 80 kilometers an hour like 20 years ago that was an actual speed limit uh, in Belgium but those have changed to 50 and 70 uh, accordingly so I don't know where Tesla is getting these really old speed limits, but they are apparently in the system. Uh, but as soon as you let go of the stock in autopilot, it actually uh, doesn't, doesn't do that uh, anymore. And it goes back to 70 kilometers an hour. Now, same for regular cruise control. So if I hold the regular cruise control, then it doesn't go for that 80 kilometers an hour on autopilot. It changes to 80 kilometers an hour so this is something that only happens when you are on autopilot um, so yeah as I said I don't know where Tesla is getting these but this is really strange behavior so as I said I don't know where these uh, speed limits are coming from I checked open street map because they are using that for the parking lots and the smart summon but there the uh, speed limits are correct I even tried changing uh, the speed limit temporary just to see whether or not that would have an effect on the uh, on the Tesla so and it didn't so it um, it appears that OpenStreetMap is only used for smart summon and the parking lot uh, aisles 
um, so that is not where they are getting their uh, traffic data or their speed limit data there seem to be contradicting information and it's only when autopilot is enabled that this is actually happening on uh, regular traffic assisted cruise control it doesn't go up to that 80 kilometers an hour also this only happens with the 50 and 70 kilometers an hour speed limits it doesn't with the 90 kilometers an hour speed limit or it doesn't do that with highway speeds so it's only those two that are being affected apparently for some reason also just to make sure I checked uh, the system um, and the uh, speed limit warning and speed limit offset I put them on zero always so when I hit the stock it is doing the actual speed limit uh, that it is allowed so it's not like there's 10 kilometers over that I uh, sit there and that is why this is happening no for me the offset is zero and uh, thus it should do the actual speed limit Tesla if you're watching know that this is happening and uh, I would very much like to know why this is happening but uh, at least fix it so you don't start speeding if you hold it too long and get tickets so there you go another quirk and uh, as usual if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe using that button down there and uh, make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye